Now from the given data table we can also find out that out of the years in which the percentage increase in the population was the highest for any given city. For example, it says in which of the following years the population of Lahore has increased the maximum that is in percentage over the previous year. So first of all we will look at the column of Lahore and now we will study its population in each of those years and the year previous to it. So we will use the formula that is the population of a particular year minus the population of the previous year over the population of the previous year times with 100. So by this we will calculate the growth of the population in each of those years and we find out that in year 2008 and its previous year 2007 there has been the maximum increase or you can say the maximum growth over the population. So hence we can say our answer is simply 4 that is 2008. Now using the given data table we can also answer these sort of questions that what is the rate of growth of the population of all the cities together in any given year over the previous year. For example it says considering the population of all the given cities together in which year the growth rate is maximum over the previous year. Along with this the four options are given to you. So now remember we have to consider the population of all the cities together. So first of all we will add up the population of all the cities together in different years. And now after this we will use the formula that is the population in a particular year minus the population in the previous year over the population of previous year times with 100. So now we will find out that in year 2007 till 2008 there was the maximum growth rate because in year 2007 the total population of all these cities is simply 30,240 while the population of all these cities in year 2008 is 39,760. So now simply we will subtract both of this. We get 9520. Now divide this by the population of the previous year. That is 30,240 times this by 100. So as to find the growth rate. So on this we get 32 as our answer. So, so there was an approximate 32% of growth rate from year 2007 to 2008. Now we will compare this with the other years and we find out that this year that is 2008 feels the maximum growth rate. So our answer will be fourth. Now after the data table the next we have is the pie chart which we also call it as a circle chart. In this the total quantity is distributed over one complete circle. This circle is basically divided into various parts for various elements and each part represents some share of the corresponding element as a portion of the total quantity. Now these parts can be represented in terms of either percentage or in terms of angles. Now here is a pie chart that represents the crude oil transportation through different modes over a specific period of time. Like over here it says that road transportation it is 20%, by pipeline it is 50%, by ship it is 10%, by rail it is 20%. So now let's study this pie chart and answer a few questions based upon it. Now the same pie chart is shown to you once again but this time this shows the degrees over here. So this rail section basically represents 72 degrees of the complete circle while this ship section represents 36 degrees of the complete circle that is out of 360 degrees and this pipeline represents 180 degrees out of 360 degrees that means 
half of the circle. This represents 72 degrees. So now we will study this pie chart on the basis of the angles as well as the percent given to you. Now by using this pie chart, we can answer the following question. The very first type is the oil that has been transported through any mode if the total transported am amount is already known to you. For example, if the total oil transported in the given period through all the modes together is 7,20,000 gallons, how much oil has been transported by rail? Now by looking at this pie chart, we can tell that 20% of the oil has been trans transported by the rail. So now we will simply find out 20% of the given amount, that is 20% of 7,20,000 because this much oil has been transported by rail. So 20% means 20 over 100 times with 7,20,000. And on simplifying this, we simply get our answer as 1,44,000 gallons. So our answer will be simply equals to third, that is 1,44,000 gallons. Now using the pie chart, we can also answer these sort of questions. That is the proportion of oil transported through any mode with respect to any other mode. For example, by what percentage the oil transported by pipeline is more than the oil transported by the road. Now along with this four different options are given to you. When you carefully study the pie chart we find out that the oil transported by the pipeline is 50%, by road it is 20%. So now we will simply find out 50% of 7,20,000 we get simply 3,60,000. Now we will find out 20% of 7,20,000 and we get simply as 1,44,000. Now after this we will subtract these two amount and then divide that by 1,44,000 and then we will finally times it by 100 and on solving this we simply get our answer as 150 percent so our answer will be third that is 150 percent now let's look at these sort of questions which can also be answered using this pie chart that is the total oil transported if the oil transported through any particular mode is known to you. For example, the question can be if 12,000 gallons of oil was transported by ship in the given time period, what is the total amount of oil that has been transported in that period? Along with this, four different options are given to you. Now when you study the pie chart, you will find that the oil transported by ship is represented only 10%. So that means 12,000 gallons is equal to 10% of the total amount. Total amount we can take it as X. Now on solving this that is 12,000 gallons equals to 0 0.10 times with X. That is dividing both sides by 0 0.10 we get our answer as 1,20,000 gallons. So that means 1,20,000 gallons of amount of oil has been transported in that period. 